guys, welcome to another episode of F1 2021. My team here on the Chesno Place Channel, we are into the second half of Season 2. To Zandvoort we head today, to the Netherlands to take on this seaside circuit again. Uh, uh, please? Aha! We're alright! Good! Right, where we were then... Welcome back to the F1 2021 My Team Save. We are in the Netherlands today as we take on the second half of Season 2. We've had some um, indifferent results of late. We were really, really good for four of five races and then Belgium did not go well. Belgium did not go well. But here at Zandvoort where we finished... Where did we finish at Zandvoort last year? We finished... Ah, 19th at Zandvoort last year. Well, um, let's hope to be better today, shall we? I can't remember why we finished so far down at Zandvoort last year. I didn't think we were that... I didn't think we were that bad at Zandvoort last year. Okay. Well, aim to improve, shall we? Aim to improve. We shall hopefully go better. I'm going to jump into practice and uh, get my setup on and then do the practice programs to get those resource points. Do drop the video a like if you're enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more. It's a link in the description to the Twitch channel if you want to come and watch these streams live. But for now, we're going to jump right into the next session. Yeah, I'm not going to be fast enough. <laughs> not going to be fast that enough no good. for uh, two of that. the pr practice session programs, unfortunately. Ah. <sighs> Doesn't really give us any ideas to what's going to happen. Car repairs have race strategy back a wise, because we've got no idea really what tyre wear is going to be like for the race itself. But I've got no choice really. I'm not fast enough for the practice program sessions at the very least. We'll wait and see whether we have pace or not for qualifying. With all the cars but we'll go and take our line, points. We're pretty much our top actually. I was about six cents off my teammate there. Good day today. Car still has a lot of upgrading left to be able to be done, and I, th I think we do need that. Practice. Does the car have enough reliability to sustain that? Absolutely. How do you feel the competition is for you this season? Uh, yeah, it's been actually competition has been really strong, Appreciate really strong. Considering on paper our car should be basically having us challenged for podiums week in week out, the competition from everyone else has been absolutely fantastic. And super strong. Right, we'll go, we'll skip to Quali. Quali is full sun. The race is full sun. So, hopefully, it should be pretty straightforward strategy wise. We don't get that many resource points, which is a shame, but not too much I can do about that when I'm not quick enough. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm faster in sector. It's another case. It's another case of. The AI being super strong at one part of the track. I am faster than everybody around me in Sector 1. I am faster than everybody around me in Sector 3. But Sector 2, I'm losing half a second. Compared to my teammate, he's only slightly faster than me. He's a tenth faster than me in Sector 1. A tenth faster than me in Sector 3. But a full second faster than me in Sector 2. A full second in the same car. Ah, oh, back in kick time, mate. We're still, we're still gaining time, though. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to be a couple of tenths quicker, but it's not going to be good enough for getting into Q2. P19 is where we qualify. Still faster in Sector 1 and Sector 3 than... Everybody around me, but the AI are so strong in sector two that it's pretty impossible to compete at the minute. I'm a full second off my teammate, four tenths off Q2 in a car that supposedly is second or third fastest on the grid. Okay, mate. Thanks for the follow, Bondi and uh, our man. Welcome to the channel, lads. We hope for better in the race. With I don't think it could get much worse, could it? it? Seems to be a recurring theme at the minute that almost every single track we go to, there's a certain section of Top that track 
where, where we'd want to be on the grid. The AI are just silly strong. Silly strong. Thank you, Tink, for gifting another two subs to the channel. AJ and MD Games. Welcome to the gang, lads. Right, we'll go to the race. But what we'll be able to do in the race, pretty beyond me at the moment. See if there's any grid drops that might help us out at least a little bit at the start. Imagine Mercedes 1 2. Okay, so Lewis, presumably, is taking a grid penalty because he would have been in the first two because even Daniel in second was half a second off. But it, it, the question is how much of a grid penalty is Lewis taking? Probably just a 10 place, so he'll be 11. Wow. Lewis down to 12th, and Schwartzman starts 11th. But we will be starting P19 as uh, Lewis is the only driver to take a grid penalty here at the Netherlands. On race pace, we are always stronger. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. With regards fuel, we are going to get lapped. I think that much is that much is evident. So I will set it on the nose. Although there's not going to be any rain. There's not going to be any rain. Yeah, we can always we can always go to the mediums in the second stint if we need to. We can always go to the mediums in the second stint if we need to. Right, I'm going to go with 72.2%. 72.2%. 72.2 laps worth of fuel. Right, let's do a prediction and then we can start the race. We are starting P19. I will say, will we finish P13 or higher? P13 or higher? Then we should be able to jump a, a, a couple, if possible, off the line. If they're all on mediums, then we stand a good chance of, uh, of jumping a couple off the line. Especially as it's a little cooler. Especially as it's a little cooler, so in theory, it should be harder for the harder compounds, the medium and the hard, to uh, to warm their tyres up and generate the heat. Hoping for a good start. Pretty desperate for a good start, really. Here we go. I won't dive bomb into the first corner, but we will be braver, I think, depending on where everyone else is positioned around us. Thank you for the follow, big boy Brados. Welcome to the channel, mate. We're going to have to send it, aren't we? We don't have a choice. It's time for P19. Everyone around us is on mediums, so we should be competitive. I hope. We've got a jump on Latifi, at least. Quite a handful of wanting to go around the outside at turn one. They broke earlier. We've got someone on the inside as well. That is Latifi. We'll pass the Alfa Romeo. We were P17, and then Latifi got a jump on us. Right, so we've made one position. And apparently we don't have straight line speed. I'm not sure if I took any damage. From that little nudge from Giovinazzi. So I will just pause and check. No, we've got no damage, thankfully. And he doesn't have any either. Oof. The run on Latifi around the outside of the final turn. Up to P17. Drop a little bit there. He's going to go defensive here, Yuki, so we should be able to take him. DRS, DRS is enabled for lap. this lap. Bring it around the, the outside. Try and get the power up. down as early as we dare. And we're up to P16. Going well so far. Going well so far. Three places made. Look at George. Not many overtaking opportunities around this track. We're past George now, up into P15. A lot of the overtakes in these early stages might look quite similar, happening at kind of the same place on the track, but so long as they're being made, that's all that matters, isn't it? Robert is actually our teammate at the front of this gaggle. 
holding everybody up, it seems, at the moment. But the longer we can do that, the better for us. And we are now up behind some cars that will be faster than those that we've overtaken to this point. Adam Milo and the Alpine will be much quicker than Russell was in the Williams. If he goes defensive, I'll go for it. He's not gone defensive, but I'm still going to have a look up the inside. He's not left me any room. Squeeze me right up against it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have taken any damage from that. He left me no racing room, though. Whether I deserved any racing room there, I'm not sure. I think so. I think when I'm here, he probably needs to leave me alone. My front wheel is beyond his rear wheel, so I'm entitled to some racing room there. And he just... Well, he doesn't oblige, does he? We're side by side there, and then he pinches again. He pinches again, and that's... Surely we're... Yeah, we're taking some front wing damage from that. Well, on the experience of Belgium, on the experience of Belgium, we'll do that again. Because that tiny little bit of wing damage entirely ruined our whole Belgian Grand Prix, didn't it? Thank you for the follow, Manolas and Hunted Raptor and STKSY. Geo Pit, did he? Did Geo Pit? He did. Medium, so must have been front wing damage then. Yeah. Geo Pit lap one for a new front wing. Well, I know now. If I... That brings you up a place. I just got a bit more aggressive. I broke even later. And there was nothing Callum could do about that. I will just double check again that we don't have any damage. But he did pinch on me again, look. He just pays no attention to the fact that you're alongside him. He just turns. It's like, well, I am here, mate. If you don't mind. Just not got the awareness, it, it seems, maybe with his stats. There's a hell of a gap between Robert in P11 and everybody else further down the road. A massive gap. We'll try and get up in front of our teammate by the end of this first stint if we can. All right, he's gone defensive, so I'll go around the outside okay, here. Catching the car ahead. Oh, I've had to go deep though. But I will have the inside line for the next, for the next little bit. Just nipped ahead of him. We're up to P13. That's six places made in this first stint so far. Race pace comes to the rescue once again. How Stroll hasn't been able to get past Robert yet, I'm not sure. I would have thought Robert would have been a bit of a sitting duck there on the main straight. Lewis having to take that grid penalty will open up the Drivers' Championship as well. It's very close between Valtteri and Lewis, but Lewis has picked up a couple of wins recently. Valtteri falling further behind, but... It was relatively tight already. And now Lewis having that grid penalty and starting down in 12th. Do I go for it on Robert? Is, or on Lance, sorry. Is he going to see me? I'm not I'm not confident enough, you know. I don't know. I don't want Lance to close in on me the same way that Callum Eilat did. But they are over a second behind now. Those back there, the two Alpines. So they will be losing DRS. Actually having to drive quite hard here just to got those in front. It was Maze. Thank you, Maze Gaming, for the follow. Welcome to the gang. Having a little look. He's pinched me again. Why do they do that? There's just no awareness whatsoever. Note to self for all future overtakes. Don't try it up the inside of turn one unless they go wide. Because if they're on the racing line or near the racing line, they will pit, they will pinch you. Worked away through most of that gaggle well enough, but now we've I can I'm starting to see why Lance isn't really able to get past Robert at the moment. Robert really is holding everybody up. If I can get past and get past Lance. I'll get a run at Robert, and we should be able to take Robert fairly sharpish. But getting past Stroll is going to be the most difficult bit here. So Aston Martin is quick. Sebastian Vettel proves every race weekend. So currently P6, I think. Kind of running on his own at the moment. Well, we're a bit closer. Well, we're a lot closer this time. 
Alright, Lance has gone defensive. I'm going to go for it. I'll have to go deep. But we'll try and hold it around the outside of Sir Lancelot. And we get it done. P12. Right, Robert, you're next. Right, now, Robert should be more straightforward because he won't have DRS. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Mediums on lap 33. Reckons I could one stop. Copy that. No. We'll still go for the two stop. Because I want to be on softs right at the end. DRS, ERS. Big lunge. Big lunge this time on my teammate. And we are hopefully going to get it down. Oh, he's right alongside me. I'm going to have the inside line for this next turn. He's backed out of it. Robert hit me. So I go for the dive up the inside. And I'm going to leave him racing room here. I'm tucked, I'm tucked right over. I'm tucked right over on the white line. I cannot move any further. I've left so much racing room there. And he's hit the curb and drifted into me. Was it here last year where Callum Eilot did the same? Or something similar at this track? And it... And it cost him his job. That it cost him his job, didn't it? It was it was here last year, almost in the exact same way, and it cost Callum Eilat his job. Well, that was not my fault. I got a warning for it. Apparently, I might I might extend this stint and go to softs again, if I can, depending on what the tire wears like, to try and lose as little time as possible. See, look, Lance is half a second behind me. I'm not going to be able to shake Lance Stroll now. Now my tyres are worn and he is in my DRS range. I'm not going to be able to shake Lance Stroll. But provided as a twosome we can pull away from Esteban and still at least open up a gap on a couple of the other cars behind us, I'd be happy enough. We might, I don't know whether it'd be worth letting Lance go and then trying to stick with him. I'm not even going to be able to. Can't do anything against Lance at the minute. He is faster than me right now. So I'm getting slower now because my tyres are worn. So what might be a good idea is to not fight Lance too hard and then just try and stick in his DRS for the rest of our stint and pull away from Stroll, from, sorry, Ocon, etc. behind. So I'm actually going to tactically let Lance through there. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Even though we've lost the position, that should actually help us extend the gap on those behind. Thanks for following. Hello. Hello, Typey. Welcome to the channel, mate. So I'm purposefully not going to attack Lance now, so that hopefully we can extend the gap on the two Alpines behind. And that gap behind is growing again. It's our fastest lap of the race. We're leading a purple sector three, actually. One seconds. A purple sector three. Uh, Robert has dropped to the very back after his spin. To the very back. Robert is currently running. Actually, no, he's not right at the back, is he? He's not right at the back at all. He's like P19, I think, Robert. So the front runners, the top ten, those that started the race on the tyres that they set their quickest lap time on in Q2... These other soft runners should start to pit soon. If we started on brand new softs and are planning on going to lap 23, then surely those that started on worn softs should be pitting any time now, really. Some people in the pits in the not-too-distant future. They've kept going for the time being. Look, they're not pitting yet, he says, as Carlos Sainz pits. So they're starting to come in now. 
and I'll be curious to know what they're changing to. Mediums. Science to mediums. I'm going to keep extending the gap on those behind as long as is physically possible. That's an Alpha Tauri in the pits at the minute. That'll be Gasly. It looks like he's coming out of the pits. It's a relatively short time loss, I think, for pit stops here. Uh, we might we might actually catch Gasly here and take him. And it looks like we will. It's going to be tight on exit. But he's right there, is Pierre Gasly. So we are now P11. What's that gap to Ocon behind keeps growing. I'm not going in. Yeah, I'm not pitting yet. It wants me to pit this lap. We were scheduled to pit this lap. But I'm not. I won't pit until I lose DRS on Stroll and or Gasly. Thanks, Pierre. Yeah, guys, he's just give me a friendly little nudge there. It's cost me half a second to launch Stroll. Thank you, mate. Gasly's... Well, that's his own fault. Gasly's now pitting again because he drove into me. But that's his own fault. Yellow flag elsewhere on the circuit. I think it... Oh, too busy looking at the minimap. Yellow flag elsewhere on the circuit. Glasses of Destiny redeemed by Owen as well. Was it Mercedes going slow, was it? There is a yellow flag out on circuit at the minute. It's Valtteri and he's out. Mechanical failure for Valtteri Bottas out of the Grand Prix. I'm not going to be able to catch up to Lance now, I don't think. So I'm probably going to pit lap 25. So before, we, before the two Alpines start reeling us in from behind, before the two Alpines start reeling us in from behind, I am now going to pit for a set of medium tyres. They... I mean, they could take me to the end, but I'd probably be super goddamn slow. So, the aim is to pit for mediums now. And then pit again for a set of softs a little bit later in the race. A little bit later in the race. Let's wait and see how it goes. Thank you for the follow, Bailey. Welcome to the channel, pal. Decent stop, 2.3 seconds is not bad. No more scheduled pit stops. So it, the team are wanting me to take this set of mediums to the end of the Grand Prix. And we're coming out in 14th behind Yuki Sonoda and George Russell. Eight seconds down the road, however. 4.3 ahead of Kimi and Latifi. So can we close that gap? in front before they pit. Really surprised the team think I can take this set of tyres so much further in the race than expected. The plan is to do soft, medium, soft, yes. I imagine those that are in front of us now that were behind us before we pit are going to go medium, soft, soft. I don't think they'll go medium, I don't think they'll go medium hard. They may do, and if they do, then it will play into our hands, but I don't think they'll do that. Thank you for the follow, monkey. Yeah, a safety car now would do would be absolutely fantastic, actually. A safety car now would be lovely. If we do close the gap to the group in front, we will gain a whole pit stop on them. By extending that soft tyre as long as we did. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. We've really helped ourselves. Now, Pierre Gasly behind is on a fresh set of softs now after having to pick for that new front wing. So that gap behind is going to disappear really fast. <laughs> really fast. Pierre will absolutely catch us before we catch Yuki. Unless they pit in the meantime. Which I don't think they will. I think those medium tyres will probably take them to around about lap 35, lap 40-ish. I expect, anyway. Never mind, Ocon in the pits. Ocon pitting for a fresh set of tyres. He will go softs, which he has done. It's our personal best lap time as well. Esteban Ocon pits for a set of softs. 
He's on his way out of the pits now, but he and Gasly will end up getting in a bit of a fight, hopefully. Maybe we can we can still extend the gap on them. Not extend the gap, but at least hold them off for as long as possible. But that does mean, then, we do expect Gasly and Ocon to pit again. For another set of softs later in the race. We will do the same, probably, depending on how these mediums last and what the gaps around us are like. We could try and take this medium set to the end, but I highly doubt that that will happen. We will almost certainly be pitting for a set of soft tyres around about lap 52. Callum Eilert now in the pits as well as the other Alpine stops for his fresh set of tyres. Oh, he wants Sedan's old number. His idol is genie. Sunoda and Russell both in the pits. So past Sunoda and Russell as well. Now back into P10. Now I'm curious to see what happens to that gap to Stroll. If that's still growing, then we won't undercut him. But if it comes down, we might well have undercut Lance Stroll by extending that soft set as long as we did. Only, ne only an extra couple of laps. Don't know when we can expect Lance to stop. Presumably, at some point soon, if the others have picked from their mediums. They're taking a lot longer to catch me than I thought they would, though, Gasly and Ocon. But we should undercut Lance Stroll. And he pits. Whenever that is, we should undercut him. But he's going so long on that set of mediums. But I'm starting to think he's going to one-stop. Lance might be one-stopping mediums to hards which is what we tried to do in the Netherlands last year and it did not work we ended up going backwards yeah you're right I could ask Jeff about Stroll he'll tell me how many stops he has left let's do that Stroll ahead our gap to the car in front is 16.1 seconds they're on old mediums their tires are more than 30 laps old we think they've got one more stop yep. Stroll is one stopping. You're losing around three tenths a lap. So Lance Stroll is trying to take those medium tyres as far as they'll go, and he will switch to hards. Lance is going to one stop mediums to hards. So we will have, once we stop for a second time, probably about what the gap is now to Lance Stroll to try and close down whilst he's on hard tyres and we're on softs. How close am I to getting lapped? That's what I need to know at the minute as well. As we approach half race distance. Pretty sure that that McLaren in P1. Is getting quite close to us isn't it? It is. We will definitely get lapped. So we don't need to worry about fuel. My new tyres have gone through their best initial spell. And the gap in front is now stabilising. And the gap behind is starting to come down again. Ocon is tucked right up behind Gasly and has been for the entirety of their second stints. Which is technically Gasly's third, but still. So when one goes past, both will probably go past. But the longer I can hold them at bay the better it is for our overall end result in this Grand Prix. Lance is starting to open that gap out again in front as well. So the undercut is looking less likely at the moment because he's gone so far on that set of mediums. But if he's going to be going to a set of hards to then end the race, he'll be needing to pit relatively soon. He's getting to the point where he might be able to go medium soft. And if Lance does go medium soft, then he'll definitely, definitely finish ahead of us. And we think everyone behind us has another pit stop to make. No stroll in front doesn't. Concentrating on my driving, and we're keeping Gasly and Ocon at bay at the moment. The only thing is, they're with me now, and they'll go to another set of softs when I go to my other set of softs. 
So I imagine Gasly and Ocon will still be quicker than me and will still finish ahead of me at the end of this Grand Prix. That's why I expect to happen, whether that is what will happen, we'll wait and see. If we were able to hold them at bay long enough, we might be able to consider... We might be able to consider one stopping ourselves, but we did pit relatively early on that set of softs for a one stop strategy. So I'm able to hold Gasly and Ocon at bay for now, but once they're passed, they will be gone. Once they're gone, they're gone. Stroll pitting, stroll pitting. With 32 laps to go, he's gone to softs. Lance Stroll is medium to soft, one stopping. And he's coming out of the pits already. He's, you really don't lose much time in a pit stop here. There he is. Stroll has done it. He's managed to maintain that 16 and a half odd second gap. You only lose about 15 seconds here in a pit stop, if that. Stroll is two seconds down the road and will disappear into the distance. Behind, less than a second separated. They're on old softs. Their tires are 17 laps old. We think they've got yep. one more stop. Max is out. Max is out. out. Safety car. Oh, hang on. Safety car. I'm pitting for a set of softs right here, right now. I think it's a safety car. It might be a virtual. I'm not sure. If it's a if it's a full safety car, I'm pitting. He's binned it. He's binned it. He's lost it, and he smacked it in the wall. That has to be safety car. He's still on the track. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's happening? What's happening? Max is... Max is part on the track. Giovinazzi's... Giovinazzi's done the same thing. Giovinazzi's done the same thing. Watch. Gio here has also... Also kind of half binned it. Driven straight into Max. That doesn't make any sense. He's then hit the wall. And then the Williams has then hit him. Yeah, that's definitely a safety car. That's definitely a safety car. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Kimi Raikkonen is also out. Pitting for a fresh set of softs. As is Gasly behind. As is Eilot behind. But Ocon has gone out again. Gasly's going to mediums. Gasly's going to mediums. But now we're in trouble. Fuck. Now we're in trouble because... Now we're in trouble because I need, I need to save as much fuel as possible behind the safety car. I just tried to rush to do that. There we go. So we've come out of the pits. We've come out of the pits in P13... There's the safety car. The safety car. You may overtake the safety car. It is waiting to pick up the leader. So we'll take Verstappen now, who's DNF'd. We've just gotten... We have just gotten incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. As Gasly behind... As Gasly and I lot behind were approaching the safety car... Daniel Ricciardo caught them to lap them. So they slowed up to let Daniel through and have as such been caught by the safety car. We will finish at least 12th. Because they're stuck behind the safety car and will be a lap behind us. We have gotten so lucky. Now I'm going to save my tyres as best I can. Now, we believe still Russell and Tsunoda in front have pit stops to make. Our luck from last year's Dutch Grand Prix has completely turned on its head. We were screwed last year. Ilot's got a five second penalty. He must have hit the safety car or something. What the hell? Ignoring yellow flags. Five second time penalty for Callum Eilat. Mental. 
It's all gone to it's all gone to pot. It's all gone to pot. That safety car came at such a good time for us. I was able to dip into the pits literally as the safety car was announced. So what Ilot has done there, Ilot has taken Gasly under under yellow flag conditions behind the safety car. And as such, has picked up a five-second time penalty. Time, five-second time penalty. Now let me ask about those in front. Sunoda ahead. Okay. Gap ahead is 11.8 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are 13 laps old. We think they've They're got still stopping. Stop. The okay, good. The last lap was a 1 minute 12.7. So Russell and Sunoda are definitely stopping again. Russell and Sunoda are definitely stopping again. We should, barring some form of impossible miracle, we should get points today. In fact, you know what? I will pay out the prediction already because we will be finishing P13 or higher. Now, only 36% only of you thought that we could do it. 64% of you... Went against me. Dan, Freddy, RIP, lads. 100,000 points lost each. It's not gone well for you. I will pay out early like the bookies do. So we will be on basically fresh softs. What? What's happened to Robert? Robert just... Why did Robert stop? Why did Robert stop? What the... F what the hell? McLaren stopped and ghosted. Oh, it's just all bugging out, isn't it? It's all bugging out as Daniel's trying to... Daniel... Is he out of the race now? Now, Robert's now behind me. I think it's just bugging out as Daniel needs to, needs to lap the two that are directly in front of him. I'm so confused. So we are effectively now then on a fresh set of softs to the end of the race. Tsunoda and Russell in front of us have to pit again. So we should finish at least 10th. But I'll just I'll run in lead until it definitively says I can go. So at the front, it's going to be game on again any moment now. Okay, it's game on again. And those ahead are going to let us through. Another yellow flag. It's all getting a bit hairy, as it always tends to do. When the grid is mixed like this, Gasly's got to let me through. Think. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but There's remember, Callum. We need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. We're a lap ahead of the person directly behind us. So now, he's just driven into the back of me there, Callum Ilot. And now Gasly's done the same. What are you doing, you idiots? Kalawala just drove directly into the back of me. Knocked his front wing off entirely, I might add. Entirely knocked his front wing off. And then Gasly went and hit me as well and spun himself out. So it's just all gone to shit in this race, hasn't it? Thanks for the follow, Dennis. The glasses of destiny redeemed by Tyler. On they go. I will not be. I will not be still in lean. No, it will have defaulted me back to standard. Callum Arnott's out of the session. There's been an incident on track. Callum has retired now. So he ran into the back of me, lost his front wing, and even though he could, he could still probably get a new front wing. He's just retired. Ocon's in the pits, so we're up to P11. Esteban Ocon has pit for damage, presumably. He's on to a set of mediums. Enabled. DRS is now oh, that's enabled. why I didn't have DRS. Of course, because it hadn't been re-enabled since the end of the, the safety car period. So we're currently looking at a P9 finish. As Tsunoda and Russell, A, aren't faster than us, so we should take them on track, and B we believe, have to pit again. I don't know if anyone in front of them has to pit again. I don't think so. But we will probably finish 
Although, look at the gap to Ocon. It's coming down. We're definitely finishing the points, but whether it's a P9 or a P10, I'm not sure. We can check the race director. So, at this stage then, at this stage, Daniel has pit twice and is now good to the end. Lando, pit once. Don't know when he pit. Might be good to the end. Lando, Lando, Lando. No, Lando will have to pit again. Lando has to pit again. Checo, Leclerc, Vettel, Lewis and Sainz are all fine to the end of the race. Lance, we know is one stopping. So he's fine to the end of the race. George and Yuki do need to pit again. So we will finish potentially ninth. Potentially 10th if Esteban catches us and tries to get past and is successful in doing so. But maybe it it depends how far ahead Lando gets before he pits. Because he's currently holding up everybody else look. If you look at the minimap, Lando in that second McLaren is holding up an entire train of cars that are less than... A pit stop away from us at the moment. You're losing a small amount so Lando might... Well, Lando I expect to pit again. And I also expect Lando, when he pits, to come out behind us. So we potentially could finish 8th. Or 9th. Or 10th. From a P19 start. Race pace... Has been very good again. Obviously it's been helped by the safety car. But we were challenging for 10th place pre-safety car. We were challenging for 10th pre-safety car. So race pace again has been our saving grace. But on one lap pace, we just don't have it. And we never have, really. <laughs> Yuki's not got DRS either. He should be a bit of a sitting duck here. He's gone defensive. He's not gone that defensive, though. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk losing my wing or anything. Ocon is closing behind us though. Esteban Ocon is closing the gap behind us now. That's mainly because we're stuck behind these two and we're getting held up more so than Esteban being super quick. With 22 laps to go, hopefully we can maintain that gap to Esteban once these two either pit or we get past them on track. I fully expect to pass Yuki Tsunoda down the main straight next time around. And I'm not sure when George is going to pit. Uh, Yuki's gone defensive really early. So we'll get past Yuki Tsunoda and up into P10. We are in the points again. Okay, good work. Great now, pass. Tell me about tell me about George. Tell me well, we should pass George anyway on pure pace. But George, I believe, has to Russell's stop again. Just in tenth a lap. George and Yuki both have to pit again. So that will move us up into P9. Now Lance, Lance is our gauge of how far ahead that Lando gaggle is. And that Lando gaggle is between 8 for Lance and probably about 10 for Lando seconds away. So when Lando pits, as we expect that he has to, when Lando pits, he will come out behind us. So we will... Potentially only momentarily, there goes George into the pits, Yuki not following, we will potentially be able to get ourselves up into 8th momentarily, provided we can stay close enough to that DRS train behind Lando that when Lando pits, he comes out behind us. Only 17 of the 22 starters still running after 5 DNFs. Valtteri with a mechanical failure. Max crashed out. Kimi crashed into Max. Latifi crashed into Kimi. Callum Eilert crashed into me. Broke his front wing and rather than pick for a new one, just straight up retired. Now that gaggle in front is pulling away rapidly. Gap to car in front is 9.2 seconds. So at the moment... Unless Lando pits very soon, which he has now done. Oh, perfect timing. Lando does pit now. And we will overtake Lando here. Because he didn't quite build the gap. He would have been better served staying out for another three or four laps. 
and building a gap. He is coming out on soft tyres, though. Is coming in for his stop. Roberts now pitting, as did Yuki, as is one of the Hasses, I think. Or is that just Robert as well? That's just Robert. So Lando is now 3.2 seconds behind us, but in an infinitely faster car. So Lando will catch me, and Lando will inevitably overtake me. But we will try and slow him, slow him up as long as we can. But all of the safety car drama was triggered by something that would... Nothing that had... Start that again. All of that safety car drama was triggered by nothing that had anything to do with us. Max crashed all on his own. And they're only 1.3 seconds behind. I'll be honest, lads. I'm not going to be able to keep Lando Norris behind me for 20 laps. <laughs> not going to happen. It was, well, it might, it might have raided me and then gone live again. Lando's just going to get me, so I'm not going to fight it. We just need to maintain the gap behind. So the rest of the race does look pretty set in stone. Stroll's pitting! Stroll's pitting! Back to P8 we will go! Stroll was on a one-stop. He's pit for another set of tyres. Is that because of damage or is he just changing his is he just changing his strategy? It's just a change of strategy for Lance Stroll. So Stroll was trying to one stop, we thought, because those medium tires went as long as they did. And there's been another crash in front. There's been another cr there's been another massive crash in front. Another massive crash in front. I think I think Checo has just done exactly what Max did. And I think everybody else... He has. He's lost it there too. Spun back onto the track and collect... Oh my god! Huge crash! We might be on for a goddamn podium! So, the Ferrari is out. Checo is out. The, the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton is out. The Fettel is out! A, f a, f a five car crash! We might get a bloody podium! Oh my god. We might not. We might not because we'll have Lando and Daniel in front of us. We'll have Lando and Daniel in front of us, and we will be P3 with a very quick Lance Stroll behind us. But if there's an, another safety car, which, I mean, there has to be another safety car. Surely there has to be another safety car. Then I do have another set of fresh mediums I could go to, or used softs. You reckon stay out? Manchester United are preparing their official contract proposal to Cristiano Ronaldo. Jorge Mendes will receive it soon. Manchester United are confident now. Paul Pogba is currently not involved in any talk. Manchester City are out of the race for Ronaldo. I can't believe it. It's all it's kicking off in real life and it's kicking off here in this in this race. Safety car, safety car, safety car. So Leclerc is out. Fettel is out. Checo is out. They're retiring from the race. Lewis Hamilton is out. They all crashed here. They've all disappeared now. So we are currently... Carlos Sainz has a drive-through penalty. Why? Carlos Sainz has a drive-through penalty, presumably for overtaking those people that had retired. This has been an absolute clusterfuck. Severe collision with Vettel. Sainz is still going. Sainz was at the back of that gaggle. And he hasn't retired, but he did smack Vettel and got a five-second time penalty, followed by a drive-through. So Science is P3 currently, but has a drive-through penalty. Now, my tyre situation. I have a used set of softs or a new set of mediums. Do I pit? Do I pit? Science does have damage as well, yes. Do I pit for new mediums? I'm not going to put used softs on. I'm not going to put used softs on. Everybody in chat saying stay out, okay? Stay out. Stay out, we will. So Lance is right behind us on fresh softs. We will be... We are now P3. 
We're in a podium paying position, but, and it is a big but, in fact it's a very, very, very big but, Ocon behind was closing on the set of tyres that he had. So Stroll behind us will overtake us of that I am certain. Stroll behind will overtake us of that I'm certain. Ocon behind him may well also overtake us. Behind, behind Ocon is a Williams. So I don't think we'll finish any lower than fifth. I don't think we'll finish any lower than fifth. But the final, the final ten laps or so of this race are going to be mad. I don't know if Robert is in the points. 13 cars left. Robert is P10 and in the points. With Mazepin, Gasly and Schumacher behind him. We've gone, we've chosen track position. We've chosen to stick with track position rather than pit. Safety car may well be in this lap. We've chosen track position. Overpitting the safety car is in this lap. And now the race is on for a potential podium. Or at the very least, at the very least, a personal best finish in Formula One. Ricardo will become the safety car and dictate the pace. Lando Lando might well win this race now. On fresh softs to Daniel's worn mediums. The track is clear. We are off. We are off. I've had to be careful then not to overtake Lando and end up getting myself a penalty. So we are we are P3 and in a podium position at the moment. No DRS for two laps behind safety car conditions. Robert, is that a Haas? That's a Haas. Mazepin is out. Mazepin is now out. He's hit... What's happened? What's Robert done there then? Oh, they're all just letting people through. They're letting people through. It's screwed again. It's screwed again. Mazepin is now out. Lance is on brand new fresh softs, to be fair. So I absolutely did expect to get passed by him. But, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered if we pit. He'll be too quick. I agree. Someone else just pit behind. Sainz again. Sainz is pitting again. But we are, we are extending the gap on Ocon. Gap to Ocon behind on those mediums is growing now. So we're on now. Remarkably, for a P4, we had rotten luck. Absolutely awful luck at the Dutch Grand Prix last year. We had rotten awful luck at the Belgian Grand Prix last time out. That luck has changed. With 10 laps to go, we are P4. The gap in front will increase. The gap behind, we hope, will increase as well. And we should hold this P4 till the end. Science has made it past Stroll. Carlos, not Stroll. Science has made it past Tsunoda. Carlos Science is on his way through this group. Carlos Science wants P4 by the end of the Grand Prix. But there might not be enough, enough laps left for him to get past everybody that's between us. He's right up the back. Right up the back of George Russell now. Russell... A Going to score great points for Williams in this Grand Prix. Great points for Williams. Probably a P7, as I imagine Sainz will get past him at the end of the straight this time around. We have three laps to go. Personal best finishes at P7 in Austria this year. P7. Sainz is up to P6. Sainz is past Russell, who's fighting back. In fairness to him, Russell is fighting back. I believe Science is now through. And he is. Science is through to P6. Our P4 is not safe. What benefits me more, watching the 20 minute highlight video or re-watching 20 minutes of the stream? Uh, the YouTube video would benefit me more. But it's only minuscule on an individual on an individual viewer basis. So watch, 
watch whichever way best suits you and don't worry about don't worry about me watch watch the content whichever way best suits you science and knock on behind are still fighting hard I was expecting Sainz to get through into turn one at the end of the last lap, but he didn't. And as such, he's still behind Ocon as we come up to, to the car ahead is 15.0 As we come up to the final lap of the race. So Sainz has basically one more opportunity into turn one to get past Esteban Ocon. And that's it. Otherwise, he'll have to settle for P6. He needs to get past Ocon now. This is your final, final lap, lap final of the Grand lap Prix. Is he going to go for it, Carlos Sainz? It doesn't look like it. Sainz still stuck behind Ocon. As we enter the final lap of the Grand Prix, then, our current P4 position, we hope, will see us to the end. We've had to fight very, very hard to hold on to this because Ocon has been quick. But Sainz attacking Esteban at the end of the Grand Prix might have saved us a little bit, although, to be fair, we were holding on really well before Sainz was part of the problem. Oh, no. Ocon hit me. I drifted okay, wide. Clear. Ocon hit me. Ocon's binned it. I drifted wide and Ocon drove into me and Ocon's binned it. We might have 11 finishes in this Grand Prix. Ocon binned it. I drift... I ran wide. How is that my fault? How is that my fault, Ducky? I'm on the outside of the track. On the outside of the track. That's not my fault. I'm on the outside of the track, tucked up against. The where can I go? Where can where can I go there? He hit me when I'm here. I'm like I'm literally on the white line. Ocon has the entire racetrack to the right-hand side to, to use. That is absolutely, definitively not my fault. Ocon has the entire racetrack to his right-hand side. That is not my fault. Send some diagrams to the FIA. Well, in rather typical fashion of this Grand Prix, drama right to the end. Drama right to the end. Daniel Ricciardo wins the race. Daniel Ricciardo wins the race. Lando Norris, is, Lando Norris finishes second. Stroll finishes third. And by less than three tenths, we finish fourth. We finish fourth. Our personal best finish in any Grand Prix so far in our career. Driver of the day to go with it as well. A P19 start. We started 19th. 10 DNFs, only 12 drivers finished the Grand Prix. Staying out was the right call. Yes, Dunder. Thank you guys for making that decision for me. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations. Daniel from Lando from Lance. The Commonwealth on the podium. Australia, Great Britain, Canada. So let's review the updated driver. Robert stats. finishes P9. And actually, oh, because he was a lap down. Because he was a lap down, couldn't get ahead of Ocon. Can't believe it. Thank you for the bits, bit, Tyler, and bits, uh, Kepo. We finish fourth and get 12 points. Lance actually overtakes me in the driver's standings. We actually lose a position as Lance finishes on the podium. And then the constructors, we close in on Alpha Tauri. We close in on Alpha Tauri. That was ridiculous. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Riders Republic is crossplay. Yes, Tomasi. Get that beta downloaded now. 
How do you feel about this team's performance this season? Mercedes have been really, really, really impressive. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Uh, none of us wanted to back down. That's what happens. Appreciate wasn't time. the cleanest of races. There were 10 DNFs. At least eight of them, if not nine, were all for crashes. We closed the gap in the in the uh, rivalry, but obviously we're not going to win it all told. The team continues to grow. We continue to grow. We do get most of our... Uh, we should have gotten all of them, because I did beat Checo in the race, but just bugged and didn't register. Oh, Christ. Contract renewal for our teammate. Go to the driver market is what we'll do. We are still supposedly on paper the second fastest team. We'll go to the drive market. Robert now has pace of 81 as per his boosts. His renewal cost is £4 million. I quite literally cannot afford anyone that's better than him. I can't afford anyone that's better than him. I can't even afford drivers that are worse than him in Yuki and Mick. Robert is a 77 rated driver. And it's easily a straightforward decision. Easily a straightforward decision to re-sign him. Renegotiate with teammate. Although, he does have to want to agree with us. He has accepted. Well, no, he hasn't accepted. Approach accepted. He, he demands four million. Yeah, I can go with a high risk and he'll accept that. He should accept that. Signed. Robert will be our driver for the remainder of the season. We do now have new sponsorships to deal with as well. So we'll sort by weekly income. What have we got here? Achieve a podium finish, our qualify your rival. None of those we're going to be able to do. PSD is probably still going to be the best one, to be fair. PSD is still the best one there. Savant and driver of the day. Complete weekend without colliding with another vehicle. Qualifying P4, about five constructors championship points during a week race weekend. See, I'd keep the salve one, but that keeps bugging out. So I'm going to not do that. Achieve the fastest lap in any session. Score more points than the team directly above you in the vehicle performance. Well, that's Mercedes, so that's a straight no. As a team, complete 30 laps of practice. We'll do that one. We'll sign with Novus. We'll sign with Novus. Got a new badge, but we need to go and put those sponsors back on the car because they won't be they won't be added on until uh, we go and actually manually put them back on. So we've still got the Seren there. We've lost the salve off the front. Novus go on to the front of the car. Lupo there. That was PSD, and we'll go to be PSD again. That was Salve. It's now Novus. Lupo, Lupo, Lupo. That is Novus. And then on the end plates is PSD. The car is back together with some new sponsors on it as well. Some new sponsors on it too. Now we do need to change some parts. We do need to change some components. My turbocharger is getting quite worn. 49% wear on that now. So I am going to need to... Actually... I've put the first turbo back in. Uh, control electronics are fine. It was the energy store that we now need to change. The ICE, 53% wear on the ICE. I have to put a new engine in. A new engine in. What's the next Grand Prix, actually? Italy. Absolutely putting a new, a new engine in for Italy. <laughs> Definitely putting a new engine in for Italy. Uh, uh, we don't need to change... DMG UK, we probably could. And then everything else is fine. Gearbox is absolutely fine. Just one more race to go with that gearbox. And we'll be fine there. Now, resource points. I don't really have enough to do anything at the moment. The halo failed. So we can redo that halo rear downforce. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to wait until after the Italian Grand Prix, but we'll get done. We need to get spec three. We need to get spec three in a number in our departments before we can do anything else. Can't quite afford the engine power. Can't afford that. 
need spec three in the departments for any of those. They're all supplier upgrades and I'm not going to be able to afford anything else either. We could do the MTUK improved materials. Why not? 40% chance of failure. Bollocks to it. Why not? So that... Actually, no, let's now advance. We'll do the re reaction training for Robert. Make him quick again. We'll continue to be quick, hopefully. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop. That'll be the halo, which we've already done. So I'll advance to the race weekend. I'll advance to the race weekend so we can see what the weather is going to be like at the Italian Grand Prix. Oh, no. Dry until race day and an entirely wet Monza. Dry until race day and an entirely wet Italian Grand Prix. An entirely wet Monza. Jesus! After today's incredibly dramatic Grand Prix, tomorrow might be even more so. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right. For the YouTube video, that will bring us to a close for today. The stream continues for those of you that are still here. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, NM and Coop Leon for the, or Coop Lion for the follows. For the YouTube video, that is all for this. That was outrageous, I think you'll agree. Certainly deserves a like rating. Certainly deserves your subscription. Come and follow me on Twitch as well. I'll see you tomorrow in, well, hopefully one that's a bit more straightforward, but you never know what's going to happen in the rain, ever. Especially in Italy. Oh God, I'll see you then.